This is Duke University. The Nikon Micro CT Scanner here at Duke is an instrument unique in the southeastern United States. Many similar scanners exist, but only a handful are freely available for anyone to use like the one here on campus. Most are used by companies in manufacturing, particularly those of the electronics industry, who routinely check the quality of their mass-produced parts via non-destructive inspections where internal features can be analyzed without altering any aspect of the part. But here at Duke, people are using the scanner to conduct research ranging in discipline from archaeology to jet engines. For example, scanning stress spines can locate injuries to soft tissue and bones, which helps develop injury criteria for car wrecks or sports injuries. Or, scanning much older fossilized bones of primates can help us learn more about the evolution of brain size, cognitive thought, or mechanics of motion. Thousands of bones can be scanned in a matter of weeks, making them instantly available to scientists around the world, saving a lot of time and energy for those without access to a micro CT or important sample collection. Private industries use this scanner too. Pharmaceutical companies have looked at airflows through inhalers, and appliance manufacturers have looked into exotic materials to cool refrigerators. Students are also able to access the micro CT scanner here at Duke such as mechanical engineering graduate students have used it to get a detailed look at turbojet fan blade geometries so they can use the measurements in their models of engine airflows or to inspect blades which have failed during usage. Another example comes from the lab of Professor Monty Reichardt, who is using scans to resolve and characterize a 3D microstructure of porous drug releasing polymer coatings. These sheaths could help devices in development monitor the blood sugar levels of diabetics in real time. We've been busy with the micro CT scanner for only a year, and we're constantly getting proposals from all kinds of researchers across the world. Based on what we've already seen, the micro CT scanner should be an interesting and valuable resource for years to come.